As a pastor, I am a bearer of blessing. If I have one picture in my mind, it's that. In any situation, wherever I am, I come to deliver blessing. Not my blessing, but God's blessing to people here on earth. I bring blessing not only to my members, people in the church, but I bring blessing to all people, unbelievers, uh, unchurched in the world. Wherever I go, I bring blessing. Um, I don't know whether you've ever noticed that at the end of Paul's letter to the Romans, he's talking about coming to visit them. He, hasn't, he doesn't know them. He's writing this letter of introduction to them um, to pave the way for his visit there. And he says in Romans chapter 15, verse 29, he says, I will come to you in the full measure of the blessing of Christ. Paul sees himself coming to the Christians at Rome in order to deliver buckets of blessing to the people there. To deliver the blessing, the full measure of Christ's blessing, fully to them. That's the purpose of his visit. And it's not just then. I don't know if you ever noticed that every one of his letters begins and ends with blessings. That's not just pious decoration. That's an expression of the deepest levels of Paul's theology. He comes to deliver blessing. I don't know how your people see you and how you see yourself when you go and visit people. But I venture to say that most people in Australia do not think that the pastor comes to deliver blessing to them. If a pastor comes to visit them, immediately they get suspicious. He wants something from us. He wants to get us back to church so that the numbers grow, so that he becomes, you know, um, uh, known as a very successful pastor so that we can, what he really wants is our money. He comes to make demands of us. And yet, what's the purpose of any home visitation? What's the purpose of any sick visitation? What's the purpose of any pastoral act that you perform? The bottom line for me is I come to deliver blessing. 